1 Corinthians 15, 58 says this. It says, give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know your labor in the Lord. It's not in vain. How do you know? How do you know when you're giving yourself fully to the work of the Lord? When there's things that haven't been fully unwrapped in who you are, things that you've hidden, things that you don't want to talk about, things that you'd just rather forget. How can you give yourself fully to the work of the Lord when those things have created bricks that you carry around your ankles, slowing you down, keeping you from being able to do everything that he's put before you. In 2 Corinthians 12, Paul says that he boasts all the more in his weakness, that he revels in his weakness because the more that he realizes that he's weak, the more God can give him strength for the new day, strength to press on and keep going, strength for the things that are beyond him that he has doubts about, that he knows that he can't do in his own power. Have you ever thought maybe it's our weaknesses that truly gives us strength? Because at that point, we are truly that weak. We're dead. We're done. The only thing at that point that can live is Christ in and through us. Recently, I took note of just the things in my life that have wounded me. I've realized that the very people that I love the deepest, I could also call my abusers. I've worked at being humble just to become prideful. I don't think that I've ever forgotten a mistake I've made, but I pretend to. I am a weak man, but the grace of God it changed all that. His love took my fear. His forgiveness took my pain. His strength has given me rest. When he's looked upon me and seen nothing, he has given me life. My weakness helped me to embrace God in a way that I've never embraced him before. My weakness open the floodgates of his power and his authority and his strength in my life in ways that I had closed the door to. Giving myself fully to the work of the Lord takes owning all my mess and celebrating all of his success. My challenge is for you to do the same. Take note, take heed. Be sober-minded, be real with yourself. Investigate those shadows in your life and ask yourself honestly, what have I hidden? What have I not wanted to mess with? What have I not been honest with myself about? Who am I truly in the shadows? Bring it out, put it in the light, give God opportunity to fulfill you and to fill you with his goodness, his hope and his love giving you purpose, taking your weaknesses, and giving you his strength.